So, you want to learn coding. You've heard of JavaScript, Python, and maybe PHP, but don't know which language to learn first? Well, let me give you two answers. One, it doesn't matter. When you learn your first programming language, you learn more than that particular language. You also learn how to think like a programmer. Many languages use the same terminologies and concepts, like functions and variables. And it's not difficult to switch from one language to another. Two, that's a wrong question to ask. Don't ask yourself, which language should I learn first? Rather, ask yourself, what am I trying to achieve with it? No, really, what do you want to do with this computer programming thing? If you can't answer that question, it should be easy to figure out which language is the best option for you. If you're not sure, I can help you with that. You see, programming languages are just a bunch of tools. They're all designed for different purposes in mind. They're just a means to an end, never the end goal in themselves. Asking which language should I learn first is kind of like asking should I use a screwdriver or a hammer? To which my answer would be I don't know. It depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to fix a toaster, for example, maybe you can use a screwdriver to open the cover and see what's happening on the inside. If you're trying to break it, however, the good old hammer should be a good place to start. The same principle applies here. Always start with the objective and select the best tool for the job. Next, I'll give you a few possible combinations of tasks and languages you can use to accomplish them. This is not an exhaustive list, but I hope this will help you determine what you're really interested in. For example, if you want to work with databases, you definitely need to know SQL. And SQL is often used in combination with another language, like Python or R. If your objective is to make mobile apps, you can use Swift for iOS, Java for Android. You might also come across other hybrid languages like React Native and Flutter. If you're interested in making websites, you'll be useful to know a bit of HTML and CSS. Along with JavaScript, they constitute the front end of a website. For the back end of your website, you can use PHP, Ruby, or Python. If you want to learn machine learning, Python is a popular option right now. Okay, this is it for this video. I hope this was useful. If you'd like to watch more videos like this one, please subscribe to this channel down here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.